Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a little bit of uh, what we call the prehistoric history of Schwood. These are some of the very first pairs that I, I personally made. Uh, this one was 15 years ago. This was the very first pair that I did ever make. Uh, I made it out of a madrone tree that was actually growing in my neighbor's backyard. And what you see here is about a full day's worth of hacking and cutting and sanding and all sorts of stuff to figure out how to make a pair of frames. The hinges I stole off the um, kitchen or the bathroom sink actually, the hinges in the bathroom and the medicine cabinet and ground them down to make them fit, drilled them out, got little screws. The lenses have obviously fallen out over time like any prehistoric thing. It's not fully intact but you can see where the glue, I used to glue them in to this little ridge. That's what the very first pair looked like. Before it was called Schwood, it wasn't called anything. It was just handcrafted eyewear. Then uh, along, along this, li this list, there's probably 20 pairs in between each one of these that I made. This is just showing sort of the history spanned out through 2005 up through 2009, which was when we actually started this as a business. That last one over there was the very last one that was a one-off frame. This pair I think was the third or fourth pair that I ever made. These ones I uh, used hinges off a real pair of sunglasses. I would burn them out of, an, of a, like a plastic frame. I would use heat and I would heat that plastic up to get the hinge out and then uh, drill small holes in that hinge with little screws to fixture them in. But um, yeah, this pair is a little bit more, um, I guess the word is ergonomic versus the first frame. Uh, I've got nose pieces in here. Um, they still don't fit like they should, but um, they have uh, a few more details. Every single frame as I would make them would get a little bit better. Fitment here and there, sizing, um, overall, they would just, that was kind of what, what drove me to continue making these was just trying to keep them better, making them better, making them fit better, making people like them more, I guess. This was actually a floor, a floorboard off of somebody's scrap uh, hardwood floor that they were putting in. They gave me a few scrap pieces. And this one was a, a friend of mine, he wore uh, blue blockers. So these lenses are those big orange blue blocker lenses. He had a huge head, or still does have a huge head. And again, hinges off of a plastic frame, heated out. This one though is the one that got broken a few times. And you can see the little metal reinforcements in the corners there and there. A few glue lines. Um, these were literally in like five pieces and he's like, I broke these, can you fix them? So um, doctored them up, made them, made them fit. This is probably still one of the first 15 or 20 frames that I ever made. So this, this was still within that, well, probably first 20 frames. Um, this was uh, bright orange when I first made these. It's a wood called Paduk and over, over time it turns more brownish. But at first they were like really, really bright. First pair I really started experimenting with cutouts between the lenses and the bridge area. Uh, kind of getting experimental with the design and the shape. Again, all these are full wood. There's no plies in any of these. These were carved out of a, a single piece of wood back, back in the early days which made them more brittle and not as strong as, not nearly as strong as we make them today. A little bit of inspiration from Kenny Powers, I would say. Um, these used to be intact. You can see how some of the nose piece section is broken off, but that was a very custom piece. This was completely different for me uh, back then. One complete uni lens, however you want to call that, um, but no full frame. Custom job in here, all this little piece, these little pieces were cut and glued together. So this pair was around 2008 when I started engraving the, the name Schwood into the side of these. This, yeah, so it was a, a hand burn tool, a little wood burning pencil that I had that I would do that. I would change the font up every time I'd do it so nothing was ever the same. This frame in particular was a challenge. These came from a friend of mine who had a very wraparound, like tighter fitting, sportier sunglass. And before this, everything was more flat. 
So you can see how it's got a little bit more wrap to it, adding extra piece of wood on the side and really angling that in more um, to give it that wraparound feel. The lenses themselves were more curved than more of like your standard vintage -y flatter frame. So this was, this was, I remember this being a challenge, but ended up figuring it out and he loved them up until uh, we made better frames. He gave these back to me for the, for the history log. 2009. So this frame was the very last frame that I can remember making by hand, all by myself. And it was one of the first laminated ply frames. So you can see on the edge how there's multiple layers making it stronger. Completely different way of construction than any of the previous ones. And this one too also had custom inlays in, the, in here. This was all hand cut. There was no laser or CNC involved. This was all like very precise hand detail work that took forever along with this side piece, this little side mirror, hand shaped that little lens piece out of a different sunglass lens. Lots of inlays going on. Um, yeah, these ones were fun to make. So now that I've showed you the origins of the brand, this is where we stand today. The products you see on these shelves are the quality of literally 15 years of innovation. This is one of our current wood frames, our Canby shape that we launched with. It's got two layers of aluminum in the construction along with 10 other layers of wood. So it's a lot stronger, a lot more flexible. They just fit like a sunglass should rather than like how my original ones did.